Hello everyone and welcome to my press on nail tutorial. I did not make an official intro to this video so we are just going to get right on into it. So first things first, you're going to need obviously a box of nails. For this video I am using some red aspen nails. These ones are called As If Atlas. Any nails that you use are going to come in a similar box to this. They're going to include nail glue like so. They will also include obviously the nails themselves and a cuticle pusher. It should also include a nail file. Obviously you don't have to use this one. You can use your own nail file if you choose. So this is actually the first thing that I'm going to use, so check your nails. I already cut my nails beforehand um, and filed them, but I'm just using the file to even out any mistakes that I made. So just check your nails. And then I also use a nail buffer. So the first side is just to even out the whole nail. The second side is to um, smooth out the nail and the third side is to buff the nail and I am not using the shine nail because I don't want my nails to be shiny um, I just want to add a little bit of texture that helps the nails stick on better so I'm gonna do that on both hands here All right, once your nails are all buffed out, you are ready to move on. So the next step is to make sure that the nails are clean. So I'm just using some regular nail polish remover and a cotton ball. So just adding some on there and then cleaning all of the nails. Once your nails are all nice and clean, next you are going to want to try and find the press on nails that fit your natural nail best. So I do have large nail beds, um, so I can kind of see which ones should fit my thumb and I'll kind of find one, see how it looks. If I like it, I'll set it down and then I'll try another one and kind of just see what fits best for me. Um, so that's what I would suggest. So you want to make sure that it fits the entire nail down to the sides as well so you don't have any gaps or spacing. So I'm just going through, you want to make sure that you can't see the natural nail up at the top. So I have problems with this with my thumbs, so I usually have to file my thumbs down a little bit more because these nails are short, which is the way that I like them. You can also see on the back of the nail, it's hard to see here, but they do have numbers. So you can write those down so that you can know what number you need for next time. I normally don't, I just do this process each time. So then you are just gonna go through and do that for each and every nail. Once you have fitted all the nails, I just like to set them all to the side so that I have them in order of how I'm going to put them on. And then, of course, you're going to do the same process for the other hand.
I just wanted to chime in here really quick. Originally, I was not gonna have both hands match, but I did have a couple nails that did match the other hand, so I decided to make both the left and right match. Now that you have all of your nails set out, the next step is to push back all of your cuticles. This is really important because it's going to make the press on nails look more natural if your cuticles are pushed back so that one, they have more space and two, they just honestly look better in my opinion. So I'm gonna do this on both hands. Once all of your cuticles are pushed back, you are ready to put on your press-on nails. So first you're going to need the nail glue. You can either use the one that comes in the packaging or if you have your own nail glue, um, which I will get to in just a second. For the purpose of this video, I am using the red aspen glue that came with the package on the actual nail dash itself. So I'm going to focus more on the back of the nail where it goes to the cuticle because that's where the nails tend to lift up the most. So I'm gonna focus that there. And then I do have a brush nail glue that I purchased because I feel like it is easier to put on your natural nail like you would any nail polish. So I put that glue on my natural nail and the nail glue on the nail dash. And this is how I get my manicure to last the longest. When you actually put on the nail dash itself, you're gonna wanna go at an angle and push it towards the cuticle first. It was kinda hard to show in the video, but I'm doing it at an angle and then you really wanna focus on that back part by the cuticle. So I am pressing down pretty hard and then I also want to move side to side to make sure all the edges get down. Um, and then I don't have to press as much on the top of the nail because I don't really have problems there. It's mostly the back of the nail that I wanna focus on, make sure everything looks even and it looks good on my natural nail. There you have it. So I start with the pinky first and then move on to the rest of the nails. So I have one side done, and then you are just gonna repeat this process and do it on the other side, again, starting with the pinky first.
right, now that you have all those fingers done, the last thing to do is the thumbs. So the reason why I do the thumbs last is because I like to use like the pressure of my thumbs to press down on all the other nails. And it's just easier if you don't already have a nail dodge on the thumb. And you're just gonna do the same process as you did with all the other nails, really focusing on the back, pressing down, twisting, evening out the sides. Making sure that the natural nail isn't showing through and repeat on the other side. all right once the thumbs are done that is it those are all the nail batches on and they look amazing so then the next step is going to be filing them down i just use the little nail file that comes in the in the box um, because they do have a little tab on the front so I just like to file that down so that it all looks even and make sure that none of your natural nail is poking through so that nobody will even tell that you're wearing fake nails so just gonna file down all of them on both hands <laughs> Right, now that they are filed down take a look they look amazing and you are all finished so please enjoy some pictures that I took after the final product and I didn't do an official outro or anything so please enjoy um, this little cameo right here and thanks for watching mm -hmm.